Hello, 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 good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Tuesday, December 5th, 2017. Okay, so I've entitled this one, Your Circle for 2018. And let me just, you know, expose myself here for a second. I often challenge myself and question myself like holly give me a break does everything have to be planned out why do you have to just be spontaneous just live hey deb okay <laughs> so part of my nature is just well my husband would say a control freak but part of my nature is planning the the but the thing is 2018 is coming and for those of us who have decided and determined and purposed in our heart in our mind that okay we got to do something different 2017 was good or 2017 was I, I just can't wait for this year to be over because it was horrible however way on whatever end of the spectrum you're on 2018 is coming and if we want to do better or get better or do more or see more or experience more become the best best version or a better version of ourselves we're gonna have to do things differently and so one of the things that um, is so important in our success of where we're going so important and this is everyone is included in this there are no outliers in this arena who's in your circle Who's in your circle? And so we can have some periphery folks, <laughs> a tough 17 yet. Yeah, come on, 2018, but come on and let's be ready for it. Hey, Scoop. Okay, so, you know, we can have periphery people in our lives who we know we are acquainted with, um, but they're not close to us. There's no animosity, nothing going on. They're just periphery. You know, we see them every once in a while. We reach out, we contact every once in a while. They're they're just periphery. But anyone that you choose to allow into your intimate circle, hey, Miss Johnny, anyone that you choose, keyword, choose to allow into your intimate circle, you know, they need to bring something to the table. And, and so I always go off of two things. Here I go again. I don't know why. I am not talking four. I'm only talking two. <laughs> two. They need to bring two things to the table. Hey, Rhonda, thank you for all who are joining me. And Miss Kiera, Sergeant Bronston of Marines. Listen, two things that you need to check yourself often when you're going to allow people into your circle. Number one, first and foremost, do they believe in you? Do they believe in you? I mean, that's not saying that they agree with all your foolishness. That's not saying they um, believe believe in every decision that you make or think it's the right thing. I'm not talking like that. They're not yes men. So everything you say is just, oh, wow, that's a phenomenal idea. That's not who I'm talking about. Do they believe in you, in you, the person? Even if you don't get everything right, when you blow it, do they believe in you? That's a question that your gut will answer. Answer honestly, even if you're trying to make your mouth say something else because they're convenient to have in your circle. Okay. Your gut will tell you if they really believe in you. If not, they might have to scoot to the periphery. And the second question I always ask is, do you have people in your inner circle that love you enough, that value you enough to check your behavior, to correct you, to challenge you? Because if you don't, it is going to be a hard fall. Just yesterday I was having a conversation and, um, the young woman I was speaking with said, oh, well, I don't want to tell her because it's going to hurt her feelings. Okay. So I, I went back on her with that. And, and the question becomes, do you love her enough? Do you love her enough to let her know what's about to probably be a bad situation? I'm not talking about those friends who you do tell and they're like, uh-uh, I ain't trying to hear that. You wrong. I'm not talking about those people, okay, because they're, you know, they want, they, people do what they want to do. But we have a responsibility when we see things going really bad. I mean, uh, getting ready to go off the cliff, no guardrails to protect you. And yet we choose not to say anything because well, I didn't want to hurt their feelings or I didn't know how to say it without them getting mad at me. Do you have people in your, in your intimate circle who love you enough? And that's what it comes down to. Do they value you enough to check your behavior, 
to challenge you or to correct you. If you don't, you got to reevaluate your circle. So check it before we head into 2018 and there's so much waiting for us on the other side. We're not going to be able to do it alone. You're going to need people who believe in you and you're going to need people who can check you. Okay, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, thank you for joining me. Share the video and um, until next time, take real good care of yourselves. Check your circle.